Hey guys, and welcome back to Fake Card Friday. So, plenty of cards being made for Shadals. So you know, people like Shadals. Shadals are still getting support, so people like to make fake cards for Shadals. So, uh, I came across this interesting fake card, so I wanted to go ahead and go over it. So, this is El Shadal Leviathan. It is a divine. Yes, divine, I know. Divine spellcaster fusion effect. Seems like you should be divine as well, but uh, I guess. I guess all Shadals had to be Spellcaster, so instead of going with the whole, it's a Divine Monster you went with the whole, you know. Instead of Divine Beast, I guess you went with Spellcaster, which is fine, I guess. It is level 10, with 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense, so nice stats, nice stats. Its materials are two Shadal Monsters plus one Divine Monster, so yeah. Let's go ahead and go with spec. Must be, must first be Special Summoned. Alright, so if you get sent to a guy, you can revive it. Um... You know, when a monster is a special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, that monster, monsters, uh, this is 2,000 attack, and if its attack is reduced to zero as a result, destroy it. Um, and then the second effect of this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal spell slash trap in your graveyard as you can. So, as you can clearly tell by the card art, it's literally just, you know, Shadal, no, that's not Shadal, freaking... Who is the Gusto girl or whatever her name? I don't know who that is. But she's the bitch on fucking on Winda, except she's on Slifer, clearly. And the effect is clearly Slifer's effect, you know? Slifer is Sky Dragon, except for the whole, you know, uh, cards in your hand equals his attack. You know, they decided to go ahead and give him a stable 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense. But uh, literally, that, that effect, so uh, the 2,000 attack, uh, someone just dropped to zero die, that, that's literally uh, Slifer's effect. So, um, let's talk about how to summon this guy. So, it's material, it, so to make it, you need two Shadal monsters and one Divine monster. Now, of course, uh, you know, unless you're running some Egyptian God cards, uh, it's going to be really difficult for you to uh, Shadal fuse into this, of course. You know, you know, if you're, that'd be funny if your opponent's like, oh, has an extra deck monster, and you're just like, uh, Shadal fuse, I'm going to send, uh, you know, two Shadals and, you know, an Obelisk of Tormentor or a Slifer or a Winged Dragon of Raw, summon this. Now, but, uh, you know, mostly you're thinking that Divine Monster, you can, of course, substitute, so, um, either Core or, uh, what, Neft Shadal Fusion, so, um, yeah, that, this, it seems like this would take, you know, a nice chunk of resources, but, you know, uh, uh, depending on how it would go down, uh, it might be worth it, it might be worth it, and then, of course, you know, all Shadal Monsters involve Special Summon Monsters, so, Literally, this guy says when a monster is special summoned. So, unlike Slifer, where, you know, any monster hits the field, this is when a monster is special summoned. So, um, you know, Kleeput, uh, how would that work against Kleeput? You would Pendulum summon them, they would drop down to their 1800 when they hit the field, and then this thing would kill them. Yeah. Yeah, because they would go to 1800 unless Skill Drain is on the field. And then Leviathan would drop them to zero, then they would die, go back to the extra deck, and you can pendle someone next turn, but then they would just die again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. So, uh, yeah, that's how I would go. Um, Teller Knights, if you went against Teller Knights, um, you know, you can summon Deneb Search, you summon Alt Altair, summon Deneb, you would get your Search, but then Deneb would die. So, that might be kind of difficult, that would be kind of difficult, you know. You know, your Dothros would be at 500 attack, and uh, the struggles would just be super real, super real, super real. Uh, you know, but also Kleepa, you know, if they normal summon, you know, they normal summon their 1800 beater or whatever, and then they go attack, and then during the dinner step, they flip up that chalice, and then they're just like, on their monster, and just like, oh, I'm a strong beater, and I run you over, you know, I think, so, you know, this card's not, you know, the end-all be-all, but it hurt, uh, definitely, a, a deck that it hurts is burning a bit, so, all right, there's a guy standing on the field. Um, you can summon, uh, Tour Guide, and Tour Guide can summon in Burning Mist, and then it would die. And then, uh, depending on which Burning Mist is uh, sent, if it summons from the field, but then that monster was just summoned, and then it would die. And then you could summon, and then it would die, and then it would die, and then it would die, and it would die. You know, so, you know, you summon Dante, and he would die. You summon Virgil, if you can summon Virgil. How are you going to summon Virgil without special summon? That's pretty difficult. That's pretty difficult, but you can. Virgil would be at 500 attack. Scary. No, but, you know, you know, if you do summon Virgil, you can't just spin this guy back to the extra deck, so that's not terrible. But, you know, uh, you know, just a lot of things, just summoning and dying. Summoning and dying. But you know what wouldn't die? 
Yubel. <laughs> you know, you're probably wondering, like, how did have Yubel not die? Yubel was special summon. The problem, the thing with Yubel is, if you read the fact, uh, the monster loses 2,000 attack, and if its attack has been reduced to zero as a result, Yubel is already at zero. So unless, you know, you have some kind of thing on the field that increases Yubel's attack, Yubel is already at zero. You can't reduce to zero as something already at zero. That's the reason why, you know, Yubel can take out all the Egyptian God cards, because... You know, you know, what's Slifer going to do? Nothing. Obelisk, you know? Raw, so, you know, that's one of the unique things about you, though. But, um, you know, if this card was actually existing, it would be interesting, like I said. Uh, I don't think anybody would go the Shadal Fusion route, you know, run any Divine Egyptian God cards in their deck to do that. But, uh, you know, maybe they'll throw one in for our Core or Neph Fusion, just be like, all right, play Core. It can be substituted for, you know, the Divine Monster. Or Neff, I believe it can. Or Neff, you know, you know, just equip it to one of your shadow monsters. It, you know, turn it to a divine. Go ahead and fuse. So, I'm, you know, not terrible, not terrible. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about uh, El Shadow Leviathan in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. All right, thanks for watching.